All right, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a Philia deck, the goodest pupper. I am calling this one Panharmona Puppy. Um, so what we're doing is we are leaning really hard into Philia blinking things. So we're trying to blink all of our things as much as we can. We're trying to blink people's other things to get them out of the way. Thurban Inspector, basically anything that has a, when this enters the battlefield, do this thing. Right, I even got a Cartouche of Solidarity in here. We've got some creatures that do different things. We've got some enchantments that exile so we can bounce them back and forth. We've got, you know, Thalia to slow them down. Thalia's Lieutenant to pump our humans because most of our creatures are humans. I threw a couple of different things in here to make tokens. We've got um, Panharmona Mommy too. We've got Elish Norn over here who is going to be giving us double triggers and then we have Mondrak to give us double tokens so we can get double triggers to give us double tokens that give us double tokens when they double trigger right so anyway that's kind of what we're doing here it's mostly planes over here in the land slot you know basically we're mono white we're going to use Nick though so I put a reliquary tower in here because we'd be drawing a lot of cards and sometimes you're just like stuck and have to discard so that's the thing that happens I'm going to leave a link to the deck list down below, but let's hop in some games, see how it goes. All right, let's see what we got here. Normally a Guildmaster Ravnica is taking a vacation to be a butthole. Dropping things, guys. I'm dropping things. Help. I need an adult. Alright, so we have a turn one play and things to blink. I think that's good enough for me. We are against Prosper Tomebound. Beginning of your end step, exile top card of your library. You may play it until the end of next turn. Right. Boon, whenever you play a card from exile, create a treasure token. So that's pretty good. Alright, let's go to my turn. Mr. Sentinel and roll on. Yes. I see you over there ramping. Let me draw my card. What up? Mm hmm. Uh huh. All right, my turn. Go to our retreat. We love that. I'm gonna bonk for one. Boop. So Ophelia has flash. So. We don't want to get, well, that wasn't a good enough game to show. All right, cool, whatever. Didn't draw red mana, I guess. Sweet. Bristly Barrel. All right, Um, we have plays, lands, and things to blink. Let's go. So whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Double the number of plus one, plus one counters. Luckily, Alphelia works when we're blinking things. Um, we'll be able to keep that pretty well under control. So, not too concerned with that. I do think I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn here. Alright, Bristly Bill coming in hot. He's going to put a counter on Bristly Bill. Yada yada. No big deal. Bristly Bill. Alright, so. On into my turn. Then we are going to. Play. Well, probably the planes. Icker Wellspring. Now, yeah, I'm going to hit that with Patriarch's Illumination. And just. Leave it alone. So, I uh, see that's an instant, right? So, mm, now let's attack first, see if he blocks. Look, Micro Will Spring to draw another card when it comes back into the battlefield. Are you going to block? 
All right. Womp. Mm-hmm. Only pee rips my pepperonis. That's fine. We don't really mind. Okay. He kept it alive. So I got rid of its abilities, and he decided to keep it alive. That's interesting, to say the least. Yeah, he just oops it, didn't he? <laughs> Alright, well, that's a thing. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to... Um, let's just play the Wandering... And, no. Hmm. Nope, I'm going to wait and get a Panharmonic Puppy Trigger. And if he attacks with both of those, I will exile them both with Wandering Emperor next turn, which will be all of the value. Alright, well, you go right ahead and you buff your duders and you do your stuff, boy. You go right on ahead there, coach. Alright. Resolve. Alright, you're going to hit me for 10? You go right on... Oh, but you're not... Yeah, you are. It's fine. I'm not even... Not even worried about it. Bonk, bonk. Alright. Mm-hmm. You ramp it, boy. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and play my Philia. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this Wandering Emperor. We're going to exile that guy. You're done. You're done. Next combat. We're going to attack. We are going to blink the Wandering Emperor. Still have much to learn. Would you like to trade? No, didn't think so. In the turn. Oh, oop, uh, oop. Well, I goofed. Well, I'm gonna let that go because that was supposed to. Be, mm -hmm. I needed to set a stop on my. So we set stops on the end step, and we need to do stuff with that. All right, cool. We're learning. We're learning. Grist! Oh my goodness, Grist. All right, um, yeah, I'll take this. Pretty decent scrub. So Grist, making dudes. Little bitty larva boy. Larva boy. So whenever dudes come out of the graveyard, yada yada. That's such a cool little commander. I like that card a lot. What is that? I don't even know what that card does. Birthing Ritual. If you control a creature, the top seven cards of the library. Sacrifice creature. If you do, put a creature card with mana value X. Wow. Okay. It's like a birthing pod, but not really. Uh, I like it. That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. Alright. What you got, buddy? I am not blocking your dude. Pass the damage. Yep. Dude comes into play tap. You can return it from your graveyard. That's to rock his things and do the stuff and that's actually really neat i like that a lot really neat i like that a whole bunch okay so i am going to try to get him i'm going to try to get him all right so i'm going to Attack. I'm going to blink this guy. And then... See if he does anything. 
he tries to rip my commander, I am going to flash in Containment Priest so his dude does not come back. Alright. There we go. I'm still going to flash in the Containment Priest and I'm going to move to my end step. See if he's got a card to kill me. He did not respond to the trigger, so he has to have the thing go to his graveyard. Oh, no. Command zone, not graveyard. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. You know that's just going to keep happening, right? Yeah, so now... What you going to do? So this is not going to let you put anything into the battlefield from those seven cards. You need to read Containment Priest. Would enter the battlefield and was not cast. Don't do it. Containment Priest basically shuts down his entire deck. So as long as I can protect the Containment Priest, I'm good. I don't have anything to protect it with, so that's a thing. Birthing Ritual literally does him no good, or I could kill it with my Witching Enchanter. I'm not going to do that, because why? There is no reason at all to do that. I'm just going to keep blinking his commander. He might be salty roping us. Let us see... Am I getting salty rope? Why did you do that, sir? Rah, rumph. Okay, well. That was... Don't know why you did that, sir. Um, no idea why you did that. Um, let me see. I'm going... Let's see. If I go one, two, three... Yeah, I can do that. That'll work. All right. Roll the banner. Light. Spirited Companion. Draw a card. All attack. Two attackers. Blink your conscript and exile it forever. Go to the end of turn. I mean, he'll eventually have removal for that, but like... Until then... <laughs> there you go. You did it. Good job, bud. A cursed marauder. I, I'll sacrifice that. That's fine. Um, let us see. I. Uh, okay. Um, what do I want to do now? I think I might actually go ahead and do that and get rid of his enchantment, so he can't be putting things into play. And then I will attack one attacker. Uh, hmm. Link that. I could have got a mind sensor into the battlefield if I was paying more attention, but I did not. So, womp. Because I could have played it, blinked it, did all that. I don't know. The hungering tide rises. The hunger tide. Hunger tide. Okay. Okay, he makes a dude. And he scoops him up. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. On to the next. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. It may lead to a new strategy. That's how we learn to play magic. He's playing the Morg, the Defiler. This gentleman is casting large Eldrazi and trying to take over the game. Let's see, what am I going to do? I am going to... Um... I do not know. Hmm. Okay. Let us do something. I do not know what it is. I will play land faster. Alright. He's going to be trying to ramp. So, if he plays something that makes mana, I'm going to rip in its pepperonis. If he does not, I am not going to rip in its pepperonis. Well, that one's not going on camera. Alright, 
I have lands and dudes to blink. Let's go. Lands and dudes to blink. Alright. Uh, Spirit Sentinel. Roll on. That's an interesting card. An interesting color combination. Hmm. Okay. Neat. I'll take it. We'll see how this goes. I should have flashed in my dude, but it didn't. Womp. That's a misplay. Call me out in the comments on that one, guys. Don't know why I did not. Resolves. My turn. Let us play a land. Us grab that guy. All attack. Let us blink that guy. Bonk, bonk. That is cool art. I like that art a whole lot. The embodiment of spring. Ha ha ha. I like this art a lot too. Monk just chilling like, what up? Quandrix Cultivator. That was a limited all-star back in the day. Mm. Sad robot. Let's go. Alright. So. How do I want to play this? I want to play this such that... Um, so if I do Felidar Retreat now, next turn I'll get two triggers. But if I do Solemn now, next turn I might still get two triggers? Okay. Take action. Grab that. Um, hmm, I think, how bad is ramping him? Because I could, mm, I don't think I'm going to attack. I think I'm just going to leave him up. And if he attacks, we're going to double blop. Wondering Emperor. Growth spiral's good. You gonna pay the one? He did. Smart man. And or woman. Okay. You go ahead and get your commanderino back. No attacks. All right. Cool. Cool. Um. Hmm. I don't want to risk it for the biscuit, so I can. Hmm. Let's do... <laughs> I don't want to do this. I want to... Eh, let's do Militia Bugler. Um... Let's grab Charming Prince. Let's play Charming Prince. Let's blink. The sad robot.
No attacks. Get back the sad robot. Go get a land. Oh, that feels so good. Land, land, land. Lego, land. Yep. All right. What does that card do? Scry X Rex's amount of smoke, 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 snow. Spent to cast a spell, then draw three cards. Oh, that's really good. Nice. Give me a nice for that one, opponent. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll take it all day. Mm hmm. What you got? You got two manas. What you gonna do with it? I'm gonna go get a basic land card. Are you going to... Yep, you sure are. Cool. Ramp it, baby. Ramp it. Alright. Oh, you attacked. Hmm. Oh, you get the un... Oh! Okay. I just learned something. Um. Mm. I think I'm... Not gonna do that, actually. I will take three. Mm -hmm. Okay. First thing I would like to do. See, I have six mana. How do I want to do this? First things first, I think I want to get lost your guy. Okay, you're going to create two map tokens. Then, then, I think I want to play... Don't want to do that. Um, hmm. All right. Um, mm, yeah, we got spells. I think you're good enough. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's play a planes and pass the turn. That was in my opening hand. All right, so you are playing the first sliver. I wonder if you're actually playing slivers or if you're just playing it to have five colors. Yep, you're not playing slivers. All right, cool. Search all of every basic land card, but then battlefield can't attack unless you have seven more lands. So I'm not worried about that for a couple more turns. We are not blinking that one. Contrary to prior belief. That is not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Alright, pass with Packers. Let's go ahead and play Philia. Alright, land. Novice Bro. Because I want to leave up my reprieve. 
Then I'm going to see. Uh, can't attack or block. Alright, so we can't attack or block. Got it. Let's go ahead and blink my dude. Get another one of those. Oh, yep. Yeah. Look at them clues. What up? Alright, so. Let us see. Uh, nope. I'm going to counter secure this route. Mmm, chokelet. Ah, counter spell, white deck, rebound. What's up? Lego. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you had a land to play anyway? Womp. Okay, um. So now, since you may be able to do the thing with that guy next turn. Actually, can we get a turn in with that? Because I would like to ramp with my Solemn Simulacrum, please. I grab this. You can get with this, so you can get with that. And I'm going to blink my Solemn, because we be ramping, because we need it in Mono White. Let go. Take action. Yes. Hit me in the comments, let me know if you think I should try Land Tax in this build. Land Tax could be pretty good. Alright, so now he is going to be able to block and the such with that guy. That guy! So he does have more than 7 lands now. So we can attack and block. Um, I don't think I want to block yet. Let's see. I think I'm gonna let's play a land. Let's play Rasad. Exile that. Let's play Charming Prince. Let's scry two. Um, let's see. What do I have? Do I even have anything in my... I don't have anything in my graveyard to use for some type. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's do this. Because we're going to shuffle now. I wasn't going to shuffle unless that worked out that way, but now I can do this, and I will get a land at the end of my turn. My guy will grow. I will get another planes. Let us go. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, da da da. You can play the sliver and you can cascade. Um, replicating ring. Okay. Mana rock. Be mana rocking over there. For sliver, cascade, you're at least going to get to double spell. Would you hit into the north? So you get to go get a land. Switch library for a snow land. Put it into the battlefield tapped. And then shuffle your library. Alright. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I cannot. Rip your pepperonis yet. So I hit you for twelve, you're at fourteen. Um there is no reason for me not to ossification your first sliver. And then Swing with the team, blink the solemn, pass the damage, leave you at four, pass it into my turn, go get a land. I'm getting all of the value, guys. This is insanity over here. We're doing all of the things. Oh, nice. Chromatic Orrery. That's a cool animation. Very cool animation. Alright, so now you have 7 mana. What you gonna do with it? 
Okay, you play that first sliver. What you got? What'd you hit? Domri. Okay. Anarch of Bolas. Okay. It's just business as usual. Alright. Yeah. He is very rip and pepperoni, so. Yeah, you can fight any of them. You go right ahead, bro. You can take out my commander. Put him back in the command zone for you. Alright, we got it. Look at us go. That was pretty good. Knocking it down over here. Lap pew, pew, pew. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep these? Um, yeah, got some card advantage here. I like card advantage. Ral might rip my pepperonis though. Ral's pretty strong. All right, there's a row. I just need one big breakthrough. It's probably gonna flip him on the second turn because people have way better luck than I do when it comes to those kinds of things most of the time. So we'll see how she goes. We'll see how she goes. All right, what you got? Show me, bro. Show me, fluffy boy. Um. All right. Did you flip your coin? Did you get a heads? You did. Look at you go. All right, so. All right. Coming in hot. Trying again. There we go. Expressive iteration. There we go. Woof. All right. So he flips if he wins the the thing, by the way. You gonna hit me? You hit me. All right, bonk, bonk. Let's go. All right, my turn. So what I'm gonna do is be a little bit cheeky. So I am going to get rid of his abilities. Then I'm going to cast Spirited Companion and draw a card. And then I'm going to attack and blink my Spirited Companion and draw a card. And I'm going to do my best not to remove that Rowl from the battlefield. I'm just going to leave it a 1-3 with no abilities for as long as I possibly can. Because, as you can see, all the text is grayed out, so there is no text. That card does nothing. He has four mana. He is doing a big old think. All of his spells do cost full price right now, so I'm not worried about any of those things. Bergy, that's a good one. I think I'd have played her on the back, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, I am not blocking. You can have that all day. Um, Neil, do I want to... What do I want to do here? I think... I am willing to... Hmm... Can I do this? Can I... So... I play this. It breaks even. But then if I play... Mentor... It's plus one. Next turn. And I think... I will... Attack with both. I 
I'm gonna blink the Burgy. So I can get the damage in. I was gonna blink the Spirited Companion, but I think I'd rather blink it with Mentor the Meek available, so I can draw two cards if I have the mana available. And then if my opponent does decide that they want to remove my commander, I think I'm going to ephemerate it to keep it in play. I'm still not going to block. I mean, I'm not afraid of four damage. I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to try to protect from a removal spell. Uh, draw a card. The ring tempts you. Resolve. Resolves. Very cool. Very cool. I'm not going to block Rowl anyway, so that's perfectly acceptable, my man. Once I get a way to get rid of Burgie, I will remove her from the game, though, so he can't storm off on me. But we'll see how that goes. Not real sure how many decisions you can make for cards in your hand. All right, so oh, you can keep. All right, so instant and or once to do, do, do without paying their mana cost, spell cast. That's what you put in your graveyard exile instead. Ten or more, copy each of those twice. Okay, now they promise. That's good. All right, so you are going to express a veneration and sudden breakthrough. Okay, so you're going to get two more red mana, right? You're going to buff your guy. That is perfectly acceptable. Resolve. 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 Okay. One in your hand. One on the library. One in exile. Your land for the turn? Or did you already play a land for the turn? You still got three red manas. And one of any color. Resolve. Incubate X, where X is that spell's mana cost. Okay. What is the backside of the Incubate token? I do not know. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Transforms into a Phyrexian. That, all right. Got it. Ask to attackers, would you like to attack? All right. Attacks. No box. That's first strike damage. I think I would like to ephemerate my spirited companion. To draw a card. Cannot pay for Mentor the Meek, but is a thing. Alright, so I think that is probably fine. Alright, transform this artifact. You go right ahead, my boy. Alright, so I will probably go ahead and cast that on my Spirited Companion again. Draw another card. All right, uh, I do not want to do that. I do, however, want to play a land. I'm going to play Skyclave and probably get rid of Burgy. Go to tap my mana different, so I could have basically gotten this for almost free, but I did not. Never said it was a smart man. Um... Since I did mess it up, I will go ahead and take that. Um, I'm going to attack with Thalia, I think, and I'm going to probably go ahead and blink. I don't have to because they scooped. Womp womp.
Alright, um... Hmm. I... actually really like this hand. We've got Panharmonomami, and we've got some land ramp, and... Hmm. Ooh, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creatures, tap to untap creatures, put a dude into the battlefield. That's pretty strong. That is pretty strong. Alright, so we're going to play a land and pass. Uh, next turn, I'm going to be ramping way hard. Alright, so got that. Uh, let me... My turn. Alright, so... I would like... Let's see, does this... Uh, search library for a basic planes, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just get rid of the priests because I don't want to let their ramp get out of hand. Um, I'm going to attack. I am not going to blink anything. Um, I could have given them the opportunity to block, but they wouldn't have blocked with their mana creature, so that's, that's okay. Um, alright. That's a problem. Uh, so I am going to play this, go ahead and play the farm hand. I'm going to go get a land. Uh... I'll put that into my hand. I will play Dahlia's Lieutenant. I will attack. I will... Mm. I'll go ahead and just blink the farm hand, even though I did just put the Lieutenant's counter on it, but this is going to give the Lieutenant a counter. So, fine. And it is going to let me go get a land. Uh, making sure we're not missing land drops. Um, so, what are you going to play now? You're going to play Paradise Druid. Okay. Uh, Allosaurus Shepherd. All right. Um, hmm. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Blizzard Brawl. Okay, that does not hurt my feels at all. Um, all right. <laughs> Probably should... Hmm. I'm gonna... Ooh, this is an interesting decision. So if I play... If I give them one turn with all three of those, when I play... My Elspeth conquers death. I'm going to be able to do more than one thing because Panharmonicon. Uh, no, I'm not because it's an enchantment, not a other thing. Never mind. I just misplayed in a bad way, and it's all recorded. <laughs> all right. Um, no attacks. Pass the turn. That's okay. That is all right. That is perfectly fine. Would you like to attack? No. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Elspeth Conquers Death. And I will take out Eladomri. Eladomri. Corvaclad. Eladomri. And then I will... Oh, maybe not. He might have a response. Um... Ah, he does. Alright. Um, hmm. Makes things a little tougher, doesn't it? Uh, maybe I should have tried to get lost first. Okay. Well, now he's out of stuff. Alright, so we don't have any into the north. So I'm going to get another opportunity to take that out. So let's see. 
Um. All right. Yep, no blocks. You can have a free four damage. Have a free. Hmm. All right. Well, that changes the math a little bit. I think. Um. Like those. Uh, so I would have one, two, three, four. Let's five. So this is all. Oh no 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 no! Don't you do me that way. This is almost free. Okay. White. So I have six mana. So I am going to get lost. This thing. And then I'm going to wait for him to do his thing. And then I'm going to play a Basri Cat. And just pick him up and make the doggo indestructible. I don't know. Um, no dice. And next turn I can pan Harmonomami and blink something. Which is... I don't know. Okay, he just bushwhacked me, which is fine. Um, take action. Okay. I'm going to chump block that. Do not care. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Um, plus one loyalty. Uh, that was not the correct thing to do there. I was, hmm. Going cross-eyed here. All right, uh, take action. Get another land. Okay, I'm going to play a planes. And then I'm going to play a Panharmonomami. Ah, stop auto-tapping! Okay. All right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I will do this. Um, Your allies will attack. Get a dude attacking. Let him block it, I guess. Um, So Sigur Paragon, play a land or graveyard, you cast permanent spell value three or less from your graveyard. If you do, it gains when this permanent is put in a graveyard from the battlefield. Exile it, you gain two life. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Would you like to block with your Eladamri? I'm going to take that as a nope. Alright, what you got? What you got for me? What you got for me? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you got for me? Alright, come on, dude. You are being pokey. Alright, you are about to be timed out. So it is what it is. Um... All right, sacrifice that map, bro. I don't think you can rip my pepperonis. Unless you have a hoof. A hoof can probably do it. Hmm. That is not a... That is not a hoof. Good card. Not a hoof.
I love the art on that card too. It's always been one of my favorites. Come on, let's go. Forever waiting on the opponent to rope. That is not a hoof. Alright, what you got? Don't know what that thing does. When he enters the battlefield, fights up to one target creature you don't control, except for Panharmonomami says no. Womp, womp. You do not get to fight me, you do not get to fast go, you do not get to collect $200. You play that Allosaurus Shepherd, bro. Alright. Crack the map, make Kongala, Kakagla bigger. I'm probably going to get Riven Pepper on Like I have no no doubts that I am not going to win this game because that is a terrifying board state. I'm going to jump block to 13-13 because why not? Um, yeah, all right, so what do we got here? We got a whole lot of nothing. All right, so I need... That's actually huge okay so that's gonna come in super handy actually um hmm. so let's do farmhand which is gonna trigger a bunch hmm. juicy juicy Yep. Yep. I'm going to play a land for the turn. I am going to play Ossification. I'm going to use that to blank... Um... Elamadri and Allosaurus guy. Yes, I get both. That's how ossification works with Panharmonimum. Then I am going to yeah, play this. Because oh, I should have waited until the end of their turn. Mm. Oh well. Um, makes our Paragon be indestructible and plus one plus one. Um, go ahead and they don't have reach, so I will send in. Actually, do you want to block with Kangala? Do you want to block with Kogla? Since I got Panharmonomami over here keeping you from doing anything from Kogla, would you like to block with it? Boom, boom. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, seven. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, hey, look, it doesn't do anything. It has haste and trample. Um, okay. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Yeah, if I chump block, you'd, you'd lose. Like, if I chump block, you're dead on board. So, I'm going to give my 4, 5, plus 1, then smack you with it? Like, I'd... Oogie. Okay. 
that thing doesn't have reach. So... That also does not have reach, so, um... And bonk you, I guess. Let's see, none of your dudes have reach. You have two mana. And I am going to go ahead and swing with the team. And blink your... Uh... Huh? Oh, non-land permanent. Okay. Um... No, I'll blink this. I guess. I don't know. Doesn't matter now. I forgot all those were lands, so, uh... Yeah! What would you like to do, sir? Okay. 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 That is five. Just, just so you know, that is five. You are a ripping pepperoni. Um, I think that's a good enough showcase, guys. Hit me with a comment. Tell me what else you'd like to see. I'm kind of new to this, so working on it. But uh, see you guys in the next one.